Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. We have another workout going for you today. Um, a little lifting workout. Let's get let's get lifting. Um, strength primarily. Okay, so we're gonna need some dumbbells. So grab dumbbells. We have some dumbbells. If you do have, I'm gonna get you set up on here. If you do have like a lighter set available, have that. But if you don't have anything, if you just have a one set, totally fine. We'll make adjustments. I'll help you through. Happy Thursday. It's almost Friday, right? Almost there. We're uh, we're plugging through this week. <laughs> it's another like rainyish day outside. I don't know about you guys, but let's get this thing going here. Turn the volume. So I think that's all you need today. So I have so three different sets we're gonna go through today with the strength portion. And then, depending on our time, we have some finishers. So, I'm looking forward to that part. We have a little upper body and lower body finisher. So you'll have to go through the entire workout to figure out what that is, okay? So hopefully we have time. Our intervals, we're gonna do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, slash like transition time. So, that is kind of what is in store for us. So again, dumbbells, grab some water, find some space, and then give it another few seconds and we will, uh, Get started here. Hopefully you can hear the music, all right? Hopefully my feet doesn't cut out. I know yesterday I was doing like a little mobility and it kind of just like cut out at the end. So I apologize if our Wi-Fi decides to not work today. So my dog's also here. She's sleeping. I know. She's like, really, again? At 7.30 in the morning, you're doing this? But it's fine, she doesn't really move. So she's kind of stuck there for the duration of today. So, okay, let's get started, shall we? Get that body moving a little bit. Oh man, I need to like wake up. We're just gonna march <laughs> in place. I swear, it's getting harder and harder to wake up nowadays anymore. But it's nice to get moving in the morning, kind of jumpstart the day, right? So just marching in place here, nice and, nothing too uh, crazy, nice and easy. Again, kind of get those arms swinging as well, all right? Warm up body. How are, you, how are we feeling? Sore? Anything going on? I'm trying to think if I'm a little sore. Eh, a little bit. A little bit. Let's bring those knees up a little bit more, right? It's a little bit high knees here. Drive up. Use that core. Okay. Good. So again, bring that opposite hand forward, the opposite leg. Drive up. Good. Stand tall. Kind of working the core a little bit. We got the legs moving. Good, all right, let's start with a little jog. So you're just gonna go a little jog in place, okay? Again, stay light on those toes, nothing too crazy. Just again, something kinda get that heart rate going a little bit. Kinda waking up those muscles from the night. Good. Again, breathing here. Just kinda seeing how you're feeling this morning, okay? Good. Let's pick up those knees just a little bit. So we're not doing high knees, but again, just increasing that pace, kind of really getting that, you know, that blood going, the heart rate up a little bit more. Hopefully feeling feel a little bit warmer. <laughs> Although I feel like nowadays it's so hot that it's like I'm always hot, so good. Let's do some kind of standing butt kickers, okay? So I want you to get that upper body going as well, all right? Move those arms back, bring them forward. You're gonna bring your heel towards your butt. All right, warm up those hamstrings. Now that I say this, my leg, or doing this, my like hips are super sore from uh, probably Tuesday's workout, maybe? I'm feeling it right now. All right, let's move into some butt kickers, okay? So butt kickers, if you wanna stay like what we were just doing, go for it, all right? If you're not ready to do the jumping motion, totally fine. And kick those heels for the butt. Good, stand tall. Again, breathe in here. Awesome. Good job, let's relax here. Let's come down to a nice, good squatting position. So, legs nice and narrow stance, right into those shoulders, right into the hips. We're gonna sink down and up. Down and up. Maybe hold up the bottom if you need to. Nice and easy, nothing too crazy, okay? Good, put the weight back in those heels. Core tight. 
We're gonna do two more reps. So wherever you're at, two more. And then I want you to get those legs out nice and wide. All right, we're gonna do those windmills. So you're gonna reach down, touch your opposite foot with your hand, rotate, stand nice and tall, that core tight. Good. Breathing here. Again, you can hold a stretch too if you wanna hold before you rotate. Awesome job. Good. We're gonna do one more on each side. So wherever you're at, you got one more. Good. And then we're going to reach straight down to the center. All right, straight down. Good. Kind of let those arms hang a little bit. And then we're going to come up here. We're just going to shift side to side in our side lunges. So sink that weight back from those heels, right? On the side leg. We're just shifting that weight. You can hold that stretch, all right? Wherever you want your hands to go, totally fine by me. All right, I'm just going to keep them on my hips. Shifting the weight. Kind of some lateral movements. We got some different joints, some muscles. Good. All right, you ready for some jumping jacks? I know, right? Here we go. So we're jumping jack in here. Again, tap side to side. If you want to tap side to side, all right? Again, lay on those toes. Get those arms all the way up. Those feet out. On your toes. Your heart rate should be up. Hopefully, you're feeling a little bit warm. Good. A few more seconds. You got this. Nice. Good. We got five. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, shake those legs out. We get inchworms, we're gonna hinge those hips. We're gonna walk all the way out to a nice high plank position, and then we're gonna walk all the way back. Stand up nice and tall, we're gonna go back down. We have three of these. So, go at your pace. Bend those legs, right? We'll bend those knees. Good. So three here. When you come up for that third rep, all right, I want you to lunge out with one leg. All right, little runners lunge here. All right, feel that nice stretch in those glutes, those hips. Hold them here, hands on the inside. Good, then you're gonna bring that leg back. We got some mountain climbers. All right, so in and out with those knees. Again, you can be here. Whatever speed, whatever pace you want to go at. Shoulders over those hands. Good, let's walk those feet back, or those hands back towards the feet. Stand nice and tall, we're gonna go back down. Actually, sorry, we're gonna lunge out that other leg. Forgot what we did before. So, other leg out, hands on the inside, so that nice stretch in those hips. Take a nice deep breath here. Good, and then you're gonna bring that foot out. We got 10 push-ups, all right? We got one. Two. Again, you can go to your knees. If you need to go to your knees, 10 good push ups. All right, and then you're gonna walk your hands back up towards your feet. You're gonna stand nice and tall, and we're gonna get started. All right, so grab some water if you can. Take some a few seconds to stretch out anything else that might be tight for you. I'm gonna explain what we're doing, and then we'll get started. So, like I said, we have three sets today. All right, and if we have time, we'll finish her at the end. So, we're gonna start this first round here with offset squats. So you need one weight, preferably a heavier one, but again, you can always adjust. We're gonna do three rounds through. So you can always increase as we go. You're gonna hold that weight at one side and you're simply just gonna squat down. All right, so it's gonna challenge your, challenge your balance, your, challenge your core, right? So that weight's gonna wanna pull you. I want you to stay square as you go down and as you stand. So we're gonna switch halfway, all right? So offset squats, one dumbbell on one side of your body to start, okay? And then you're gonna grab two weights, all right? Grab that second weight, hinge at the hips. We have an under grip row, so your palms are gonna be facing out, away from you, all right? You have a single arm row on each side, and then you got both arms together, okay? So you got right, left, and then together, okay? Then we're gonna finish this set here with a little half kneeling wood chopper. So, my left leg is out front here. I'm gonna come down to my right hip, up across my left shoulder. So a little rotational core exercise. Okay, so standing tall, rotating, letting that core drive that weight down and then back up, okay? So, we're gonna start with those squats, all right? 
I think a lot of time we're going here. Like I said, we're in about 40 seconds here, kind of 20 second rest slash transition in between. So, you ready? I'm gonna add two of these weights because why not? <laughs> All right, so offset squats, pick a side. If you're not comfortable, just do regular squats with the weight, okay? You ready? And here we go. So coming down, just try to stand tall. All right, so engaging that core, weight back in those heels. Drive up. Use the core to stay centered. You got it. It's a little tricky. All right, chest tall. Nice. All right, we're going to switch. All right, so whenever you're ready, here we go. So we've got 20 seconds or so on each side. Good. Holding that weight. Nice. Stay tall. Come on. Breathe here. Sink as low as you can in these squats. Good. We got three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Alrighty. So, a little challenging, right? Under grip row. So, remember, palms are facing out. You got a single arm row back, each side, and then double. Okay? Think about squeezing those shoulder blades towards the spine. You ready? And here we go. So, one, two, together. So, keep that core. Engaged, right? Shoulder blades back. Keep those elbows tucked in too. As you're rowing, keep it tight. Look at something ahead of you on the ground. Keep that neck in a nice neutral position. Don't forget about those legs, right? Keep those legs engaged. Nice. We're over halfway. You got this. Nice. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. A little single arm and then double arm row. Keep working. Three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. All right. We're going to find our spot on the ground here. So remember, half kneeling. So from the side here, legs out front. Here coming down, and then up and around. Okay? So if you need to use some lighter weight, use some lighter weights. Okay? Use that core, right? Rotational. we got those obliques working. You ready? 20 seconds on each side. Here we go. Down. Finish up. Kind of plant that foot into the ground. Again, don't worry about speed. I want you to focus on core control. Nice. All right, so stay balanced. Do the best you can. If you don't have weights, you can still do the same exercise, right? You can still come here and here. We're gonna switch sides, okay? So give a few extra seconds here. All right, so when you're ready, I want you to switch. Down to that hip, up across that shoulder. Good. I really like this one. You feeling it? Nice. Good job. We got three, two, one, and relax. Awesome. Alrighty. Round one, finished. Alright, round two, offset squat. So adjust those weights if you need to. Alrighty. If you want to go a little bit heavier, go a little bit heavier. Again, stay tall. That weight's going to want to pull you down. Stay centered. You got this. You ready? I'm on. Here we go. All right, just coming down. Driving up. All right, so as much as you can, sink down into the heels. Keep that chest tall. Remember, we're not folding over. Chest back, shoulders back. Come on. Good. All right, you ready to switch? Here we go. We're going to switch sides. Again. Here, you might find that one side's a little bit harder than the other, but again, sink deep, try to evenly distribute that weight. Nice, so good. I'm really feeling the core on this one too, as well as those legs. Here we go, a few more reps. Keep moving, keep challenging yourself. Good, we got three, two, and one. Alrighty, nice job, under grip row. So, Adjust your weights if you need to. Remember, we're going to do a single arm first, and we got the double arm. Alrighty, so just here. Ready? And let's begin. So, again, strong back. Alright, so we're not hunched over. We're back. We're keeping those legs nice and tight. You got this. Pull the weights towards those bottom ribs. Alright? 
So we're not kind of shrugging our shoulders. Your shoulders are staying relaxed. All right, so pulling this, the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Good, lock those legs in. Nice, good. You got 10 more seconds, all right? So keep rowing here, nice and controlled. Good, we got three, two, one, and relax. Awesome job, guys. All right, we're back to the half kneeling wood choppers. So, again, second time. If you need to take off some weight, take off some weight. If you just want to do regular without weights, go for it, all right? But you're doing great. We're gonna do 20 seconds each side. You ready? Here we go. So again, control here, good form over kind of the amount that you're doing, right? Focus on those obliques as you're rotating, all right? You have this whole torso working. You've been working that lower back as well, all right? We're gonna switch sides, all right? So then you're bring that other leg forward, adjust, and then here we go. Come on. Good, keep breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, do what you can. You got it. Nice, we got three, two, one, and awesome, we are done. All right, this is our last round. You ready? Last time through. Make it your best one, okay? We'll grab some water, we'll move on to our next set. All right, last set, we'll all set squat. If you haven't tried them already, give them a shot, okay? Maybe for a few reps, doesn't have to be the whole time. Here we go, 40 seconds. Good, sink nice and deep. How low can you go, but still maintain that good control? If you want me to hold that arm out, that might help you a little bit. Oh, my knee's cracking. Always a good time. <laughs> good, three. Two, one, let's switch sides. All right, so adjust those weights. And when you're ready, here we go. Nice. Again, shoulders back. Stay tall with that upper body. Sink deep, core is tight. Drive up, breathe. Come on, good stuff. Keep working. Start to sled here. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job, guys. All right, you rose for the last time. So, again, like I've been saying, add weight if you wanna add some weight, all right? You got a single arm row, double arm row, last time. Ready? And here we go, all right? So think about it too. As you're rowing, you're kind of working those lats too, the outer part of your back. Think about those muscles here as you're rowing. Breathe. All right, so palms are facing away. Again, be just mindful here of these movements. Don't rush through just to get more reps, right? Make sure you are really paying attention to what's going on here. I see some people are on, so good morning. I didn't, my computer's not really working. If uh, it's on strong, people pop up. So, good morning, good morning. Ready, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome, alrighty. Whew. You ready? Last 20 seconds each side of those kneel, half kneeling wood choppers. All right, adjust as you need. Control, and then we got a break coming up. All right, ready? Let's begin. Down, and then up, across. Get a good rotation. Down towards your hip, up across your shoulder. Nice, ready, and let's switch sides. All right, so adjust here, reset, think about it. Good, nice, let that core drive this movement, guys. Come on, down and up. Good, we got three, two, one, and relax, awesome work, all righty. You have earned your break. Go get some water, all right? Good stuff, good first round, right? Some new exercises, new things to throw in there for you. All right, so as you are getting ready to reset here, I'm gonna demonstrate what's going on next. All right, it's the same thing, three rounds, 40 seconds or so each. We're gonna start on the ground for the first two, actually we're kind of on the ground for all three of these exercises, all right? 
We're gonna start with a single leg and then a double leg hip bridge. Weight is optional to put on your hips, okay? It's gonna look like this. Just like the single arm and double arm bent row, same thing with the bridges. So you're down here, flat back. You're gonna pick one leg, you go pushing up, all right, switching, push up with the other leg, and then together. So, single, single, and then double. Hips, or weight can be on your hips if you want to. Really get those hips as high as you can, squeeze the butt, squeeze those hamstrings. From there, we're gonna go into a chest press with a pec fly. It's a little combo movement, all right? You're going to, all right, palms are going to be facing away from you. You're coming down. As you come for that second rep, you're gonna turn your palms in, a little pec fly, all right? So slight bend in those elbows for the pec fly. So come out nice and wide for the chest press, turn, pec fly. All right, and then we're gonna do just some mountain climbers here at the end, all right, for our core. So, mountain climbers, in and out. All right, a few things. Keep in mind, for that chest press, remember, you're starting like this on the ground for the chest press, and then, or sorry, when you come up, all right, you're gonna turn your palms in, and then you have a slight bend. So it's not a full 90 degree bend, a slight bend in those arms as you kind of hug the air in front of you for the pec fly. So, three rounds, you ready? We're gonna start with those single leg, double leg hip bridges, okay? So guys, some weight, you want some weight? Again, if you wanna do regular double, just regular hip bridges, go for it, all right? Here we go, 40 seconds, first round. So single leg, single leg, double leg, all right? So push up through the heel, hold for a second at the top, okay? Drive up, all right? Push the hips off the ground, all right? So feel those hamstrings working, the weight is optional. Single leg option is optional as well. All right, so a little coordination, reset each time. Good, nice, here we go. Nice work, we got three, two, one, and relax, good. So remember, chest press, palms facing away from you. As you come up, you got a pec fly, out nice and wide, coming back in. So chest press, pec fly. So grab those weights, ready? And here we go. If you want to challenge and still want to hold those, uh, that hip bridge, go for it. I'm gonna hold my hip bridge. So again, coming out, pec fly, you're keeping a nice, slight bend in those arms. All right, not a full bend like the chest press. All right, you're kind of, you can give someone a big hug. If you're holding the hip bridge with me, you don't have to, keep those legs engaged, right? Yeah, nice and controlled. Bring those weights all the way together at the top. All right, if you're doing the chest press, you got about 10 more seconds. All right, and then you got some mountain climbers coming up. Good, breathe out as you push up here. Three, two, one, and relax. Alrighty, set those weights aside. Now, you can do regular mountain climbers. You can do cross body mountain climbers. We got those spider climbers. All right, pick a variation. I want those shoulders right line with those hands. In and out as fast as you can for 40 seconds. Ready? And here we go. All right, so in and out. Drive those knees in. I'm gonna switch it up each time. So I'm gonna do regular mountain climbers this round. All right, try to keep that butt down as much as you can. Again, if you need to slow yourself down, slow yourself down. Just be mindful, engage that core. All right, plant those hands, those fingers into the floor, stack the shoulders, again, drive in, core tight. You got 10 more seconds, you can do this. Come on, breathe here, nice. Good, we got three, two, one, and relax. All righty, it roll those wrists a little bit. Good stuff. All righty, round two. So remember, single leg, Hip bridge on each side, regular hip bridge in the center. So again, add weight maybe this time, you didn't add weight. Maybe add a few more single leg options if you didn't do that last time. All right, whatever you need to do. Here we go, we have 40 seconds. Push up, back down. All right, reach them all the way down every time. Try to hold at the top for a second. All right, so hold, release. 
pushing up through the heels to engage that posterior chain of muscles. All right? So you got your glutes, you got your hamstrings, lower back. Good, you got 10 more seconds. Drive up. Here we go, breathe here, you're doing great. Nice, we got three, two, one, and relax. Alrighty, I really like those, man. I'm just like, it's a little hot in here, a little sweaty. So, chest press, pec fly, adjust weights, okay? Now really squeeze that chest. Think about, like I said, with the row, you're thinking about the back. Here, really think about those pecs. So think about those muscles as you're bringing those weights in. You ready? Option to hold that hip bridge. Going down, and then switching that grip, and then hugging the air with that pec fly. So 90 degree bend as you go down for the chest press, whatever degree bend <laughs> in, the, in the pec fly. I'm not really good with math and angles, I don't know what you would call that. A little under the 180 degree line. Good, so squeeze that chest, bring those weights together again. Keep those legs working if you're holding that hip bridge. Come on, this is round two. You have five more seconds. Nice. And let's relax. Good job. Alrighty. So, back to those mountain climbers. I'm gonna do cross body mountain climbers this time. I'm gonna bring that opposite knee to that opposite elbow to come with those obliques a little more. Feel free to join me. If not, do whatever you would like for 40 seconds. Again, take breaks if you need to, okay? This is just your time. You're set here. Ready? Here we go. So a little cardio, a little core though. Again, slow yourself down. Drive that knee in, whatever that looks like. All right, whatever pace. Good. Again, take brace as you need to. Remember, I'm doing cross body mountain climbers this set. Keep those shoulders right over those hands. Nice. Keep that back straight, butt down. Doing great. Breathe. Nice work. We got three, two, one, and relax. Alrighty. Shake those arms out again. Roll those wrists. Alright, this is our last round. Alright, you guys are doing awesome. Keep it going. So, hip bridges. You ready? Last time. Really focus on the hold. That phase up at the top. Alright, we got some weight here. And let's get it started. Do that single. You got single, and then we're doing our double. Again, if you just want to do singles, that's fine. All right? A little more challenge. I haven't really been telling you halfway if you are just doing singles, so hopefully you're kind of just gauging. <laughs> we are about halfway. So you got 20 more seconds. Drive up, back down. Again, nice and controlled. Push up through the heels. Last time. Here we go. Nice. We got three, two, one, and relax. My dog just was like, what? Really? What? She's a little more awake now. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi. All right. Chest press. You ready? So again, if you want to challenge yourself and increase your weight, you have multiple different sets of weights, go for it. If not, stay right here with me. All right. Last time. Here we go. Again, we're changing. We got pec fly to that chest press. Nice. Again, hold that hip bridge for an extra challenge. All right, squeeze those glutes, squeeze the hamstrings. Squeeze that chest as you bring together. Come out nice and wide. Good. Are we breathing? I hope so. Come on. Dig deep here. You got 10 more seconds. All right, 10 more. You got it. Nice. Three, two, and one. Alrighty. Nice work. All right, I'm going to do for this last set of these uh, mountain climbers or spider mountain climbers. So I'm going to bring my knee to my outside, that same side elbow. All right? So, 40 seconds. Take a break. We got one more set. All right? You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. So I'm coming here, right? So I need we want to break down this way, or we want to add a little bit of a jumping motion. Again, drive that knee, the opposite elbow. 
Again, you can do regular mountain climbers. You can do cross body. Again, you can be here. If you need to slow it down. Whatever you want. So it's just working as hard as you can. All right, keep that core going. Good, strong position, got under 10 seconds. Awesome job. Three, two, one, and relax. Alrighty. Woo, feeling good. Grab some water. I know I'm a little thirsty. Coffee in the morning doesn't really hydrate you that well, so. Whew, yeah. Alrighty, so we're moving on to our last strength set. Then again, like I said, let's see what our time is. If we have time, buy a little finisher, all right? So, what I want you to do, one weight here. We're gonna do sumo squat steps. So I want you to come out nice and wide, sumo squat back in, other side, step. So nice and wide, toes point out on an angle. I want you to sink deep into that squat. Hold weight if you want to, always optional, all right? And then we have one of my favorites, the man maker. So, what it's gonna look like? You have a renegade row, so it's a high plank position, you're rowing, followed by a push up. So, from here, all right? You got a row, one, two, and then push up. Okay, option, go to your knees, row, and then add the push up, okay? So, it's tricky, it's challenging, but you can do this. Okay, so give it a try. That's our second exercise. And then that last one here, we're doing a little side plank. All right, side plank with some leg lifts. So you're holding here. I just want you to lifting those legs. All right, target those hips a little bit more. So we'll do 20 seconds on each side. Okay, so let me reset my watch here. Grab what weights you want for those sumo squat steps, either direction, and then we'll work our way to the floor. All right, so this is it. We have three rounds. All right, dig deep. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. So, come on nice and wide. Back up. Maybe hold the bottom for a second. Get deep. Drive those knees out, right? Keep that core engaged. You should be feeling those inner thighs, outer thighs. Good. Shoulder blades back. Good. Nice. I just saw Tara, uh, Tara, so I don't know if you've been on here the whole time, Tara, but good morning. <laughs> here we go, 10 more seconds. I know my computer, I just, if you're with me, whether you're watching live, whether you're watching this after, welcome, you guys are crushing it. And let's relax. Alrighty, you ready for this? Man makers, so remember, high plank position. Row with one arm, and then you got a push up. You can do this, dig deep, alrighty? Give it a try, you can go to your knees when you need to. Ready? And here we go. So widen that stance with those legs if you want me to. All right, row in, and you got push up. All right, engage the core. Try to keep those hips from swaying. Nice. How are we doing with these? Yeah, if you need to, go to your knees. All right, right here, row towards the bottom of those ribs. Good. Nice job. We have about 10 more seconds. Sorry, I had a message come up. Got cleared so I can see my watch. That time. Woo! Yeah. Nice. Got three, two, one, and relax. Those are a killer. They're pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, side planks. So, you're gonna hold here. Alright? If not, you can always lean that leg on the ground. Set yourself. We're gonna add a leg lift. 20 seconds. I'll let you know when we're switching. Ready? Here we go. You can stack your feet. You can put one in front of the other. Doesn't matter. Again, raising up. Try to keep the body in a nice straight line. Feel it right here. In our core. We're going to release today. Yeah. Five more seconds, and we're gonna switch. All right? Nice. And relax. Let's shimmy all over other side. You ready? Let's get started. My dog is like, really? What are you doing? Again, you can hold, kind of steady yourself. You need to steady yourself in front with your other hand. You can rest it on your hips. All right, raise that leg. Good job. Five more seconds. Keep holding. 
and relax. Awesome. Alrighty, round one. Done. Okay. We are going to move back to those sumo squat steps. So, pick your weight. If you want to use some weight, and we're stepping side to side. Keep a nice wide stance from those legs. Ready? And here we go. Round two. So how low can you go? All right, really challenge yourself. Weight back in the heels, sink low and deep. Hold for a second. Stand up nice and tall. Knees are out. Good. Good job, guys. Again, add some heavier weight. Challenge yourself. All right? Working those legs here. Nice. So step in side to side. Really good exercise for all around. We got 10 seconds. Breathe. Awesome. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. All right, set that weight on the ground. Man makers, round two. Adjust if you need to. Remember, you can always go to your knees if you would like. All right, it's a great modification. It's a tough exercise. Adjust my weights here. All right, you ready? Here we go. Round two. Again, widen the stance of those feet. Just try to keep those hips square as much as possible. So you're rowing towards your bottom ribs. All right. Add a little push up in between. Again. Come on. Here if you need to. Good modification. All right. For that push up in those rows. All right. Almost there. You have 10 more seconds. I'm riding the stance of my legs to keep my core working. Good job. Three, you can do this. And relax. Woo. Love those, right? <laughs> I don't do them often, so it's a good challenge for me. All right, you ready? Side planks. So, add the leg lift. Remember, always optional. If you have a lighter set of dumbbells, you want to add some, a dumbbell for a little more resistance, be my guest. All right, here we go. So again, here, all right, or you can keep that leg on the ground. Just keep the hips on the ground, okay, or the hips above the ground. Sorry, not on the ground here. All right, so this is your modification for your side plank. All right, raise that leg. Good. And let's switch sides here. Now my dog's like trying to get up. All right, here we go. Hi, Annie. You want to come say hi to everyone? You want to come say hi? She's like, no, not really. Here we go. I'll let you out in like a few seconds. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi, babies. Hi. Good work, guys. Keep moving. You have three, two, whoa, one. And <laughs> relax. Alrighty. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, yikes. All right, round three. You ready? This is it. Last one. And then we got a little finisher, okay? Dig deep. Grab those weights. You want to grab a weight with me, Bob? Ready? And here we go. So you got side step, nice wide squat. I'm gonna keep her here and see what she does. <laughs> she can wait, right? She can work out with us. Do a little motivation here, right? Good. I'm on a little fun with the dog this morning. Good. Sing low. Come on. We got halfway here. We got 20 more seconds left. Sink deep. Drive through those heels, stand up tall. Nice, 10 more. 10 more seconds to put, I'll let you out. Good, five. And relax, good stuff. All right, on the ground, guys. Here you go, baby. All right, man makers for those last, that last set. Oh boy. All righty, so you can do this. Challenge yourself. You ready? Get those weights set. And here we go. All right, come on. 40 seconds, row, row. And then you got a nice push up here. Remember, good form here over anything else. Keep that butt down, back straight. All right, keep those legs engaged, keep it nice and tight. Come on got this. Keep pushing. Come on. This is not easy, but we're getting stronger. 
Almost there. Give me one more rep. Good. And relax. Awesome. Whew. Check this off, right? Get rid of those man makers. Man, oh man. Alrighty. Last time, side planks, okay? Here we go. Find a position here. Again, whatever you'd like to do, let's work that core. Here we go. Add the leg lift as an option. Again, keep everything nice and light so our upper body's not folding over. Keep the hips in the air. Raise that leg as high as you can. Good job. We got three, two, one. This side is over. We're going to shimmy around here. Second side. When you're ready, join me. Come on. Good. And you're also going to work and stabilize with these glutes, right? That leg that's on the ground. So again, whatever height you can get that leg to, go for it. Keep the hips high. We got three, two, one. And relax. Alrighty. Nice job. What's our time? Oh, yeah, we definitely have time. Alrighty, grab some water, okay? This is gonna be an awesome time. So, we're gonna finish with both an upper body and a lower body finisher, okay? A little quick challenge here at the end just to kind of work those muscles one last time. We're already tired, so just a little add challenge for us. No weights for this first one, okay? We're gonna work the legs and we'll finish with the upper body. Okay, so if you do have a lighter set of weights available, all right, for the upper body, go for it. If not, we can just use body weight, okay? So, first of all, we're gonna start. We're gonna hold a right side lunge for 10 seconds. So it's gonna look like this. We're just gonna hold for 10, and then we're gonna do five right lunges, and we're gonna then, and then do the same thing on the left side. Hold for 10 seconds on the left, 10 left lunges, okay? Um, or right side lunge or left side lunges, and then we're gonna do some squat holds, squats, finishing with squat jumps. So I'll guide you through. You're just gonna follow me, okay? It's gonna be really quick, nothing too crazy, okay? So we're gonna start. I want you guys to get into a nice right lunge or whatever side you wanna do. It doesn't matter position. So you're sinking down to the heel, all right? Here we go. So we're holding as low as you can, all right? So ten seconds here. Hold, hold, hold for three, two. One, here we go, and five lunges with me. We got one, up, two, good, three, nice, four, last one, five. All right, left side, we're holding, here we go. So hold here, weight back in the heel. Sit tall here with that upper body. All right, lunging deep, good, three, two, one, back up, we got five, we got one, good, two, sink deep, three, good, four, nice work, five, all right, we got a regular squat hold right into it, here we go, so sink low, all right, hold the squat, little prayer hands, be like, oh my gosh, take this away, <laughs> good, three, two, one, we have five squats, here we go, one, Two, nice. Three, get deep. Four, five. We're finished with five jump squats, all right? So coming down. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. All right, shake out those legs. That's it. Not bad, right? Little finisher, all right? I want you now to grab your light set of weights. We're going to work the shoulders a little bit. So, we're gonna do eight reps of one, two, three, four, five different exercises. So we're gonna start with lateral raises, side raises for eight. All right, you ready? Here we go. We got one, good, two, three, core tight here, stand tall, four, bring it all the way up, five, nice, six, good, seven, one more. Eight. Now we got full range of motion, front raises. So here comes starting down. We're going all the way up. We got one, two, stand tall, three, four. You can just use one weight if you want. All right. Five, six, 
six. Good. Seven. Whew. Eight. Alrighty. Come in here. We got ad or horizontal adductions. We got one. Open up. Two. Three. Four. Again, no weights. No problem. Five. Six. Good. Come on. Seven. Eight. All right. Next one. You got one dumbbell drivers. So one, two, three, four. Come on. Five. Turn that dumbbell. Six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. All right. Last one. Forward presses. So you can grab one dumbbell or two. We're coming out. One, two, three, four. Good. Five, six. Almost there. Seven. Last one. And eight. Woo. Alrighty. Set that on the ground. That is it. So not too bad, right? Those hard ones are really, they're a little tricky, right? <laughs> so good job today, guys. That is it for our workout. I'm going to stay on for a few more minutes, stretch us out a little bit. If you do need to go, have a great rest of your Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow, 1130, for our no repeat workout. We'll hit cardio. All right? Bring a medicine ball if you have a medicine ball, some of those like smaller weighted balls. If not, totally fine. Dumbbell works as well. All right? So here we go. Let's, let's finish here. Oh, hey, Jane. I didn't see you join. All right, so let's finish here. Just bring that arm across our chest. Let's just our shoulders out since we just worked those. But good. Nice job. How are we feeling? Feeling pretty good. I'm like super sweaty today. Good. Let's bring the other arm across. Great workout. Again, nothing too crazy. But again, just challenging our bodies in different ways. We did a lot of different oblique work today. So that was good. Those man makers were a little bit of a challenge. Good. Let's stretch those triceps out. So hand flat and back. You're going to stand tall, get that pressure, you're going to pull right on that elbow there. You're going to stretch right in the back of those arms. Nice. And let's uh, reset here. Hope you guys have a good day today. It's, uh, it's Thursday. Can you believe tomorrow? No, wait. Today's the 13th. Two days from now, we are halfway through August, right? This is insane. All right, let's do our side bends. Let's stretch that torso out, those obliques, all right? There's a hold here for a few seconds. Reach that arm across and feel right inside. Good. Let's go to the other side here. It's coming up. I'm like seeing like all these people join now. So again, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you did come here, wherever you're at, home, on vacation, who knows? Wherever you join me from, it's always great to have you guys working out with me. Good. Reach over the side for a nice stretch. Go to the other side here for me. Reach. Good. Nice job. Let's do some knee hugs here. So I want you to, if you want the knee to balance on something, go for it. You're just going to bring that knee up into your chest. All right, maybe roll the ankle a little bit. We'll work on some balance here at the end. Stretch those glutes out. Good. And slowly release down. Same thing on the other side. So pull them up. Get those glutes stretched. Awesome. Slowly release. We're going to grab the, the foot for the quads this time. So stretch the front of the leg. You can always reach that hand up nice and tall. Got a good stretch. Awesome. Make sure you guys are breathing. Relax. Bring that down. Again, take, oh, taking your time here in these stretches. All right. You can uh, hold as long as you need. What do we got? We've got a comment here. Oh yeah, yeah, you can play it. Yeah, you can you can play it later. Gotta look on the schedule there, Gwen. Alright, so we're gonna do a figure four here. Cross that ankle over that knee. Alright, and sinking down. Good. So again, you can always do this on the floor too if you don't have um the balance for it. Alright, good. Coming up. We're gonna cross that other leg. Yeah, you can always find these videos on YouTube. Okay, so you can go to my YouTube channel at um it's made to move underscore fitness. Okay. So I'll upload that later in the next hour or so, depending on how fast it uploads. All right, let's just do those hamstrings. So you're going to have your toes in the air, one foot out in front. You're going to reach down, stretch the back of those legs. And you can also work, you know, watch it here on my channel or on the Facebook page. But I think it's a little bit easier with uh, the YouTube thing. So we'll do that. So you can always find that. All my other workouts there. Go, switch the other leg. 
Awesome. Reach down for those toes. You can always put that foot flat on the ground for a little deeper stretch if you need to. All right. Good. Nice job. Let's just do some hip circles here. So you're going to come up and around. We'll open the gate, I call it. So come up, out, around, and down just to kind of stretch those hips out. So you need to finish with those, those side plank leg lifts. Those will get you. All right. Other side. Good. Nice job. Up and around. One more here. Good. And let's just do a little straddle here. We're just going to do some trunk rotations. All right? So again, you can hold and stretch on either side. Again, nothing too crazy. Be careful. All right? Engage the core. Just a little rotation. Awesome. All right. Deep breath in. Arms up. And then as you exhale, reach down for the floor. Keep those legs wide if you want to. You can always bring them into the center and do just a straight forward fold. Then slowly bring the, that upper body nice and tall. We're going to do it one more time. Inhale. Arms up. And exhale all the way back down. Good. And slowly bring yourself back on up. All right. Give those shoulders a little roll. Well, great job, guys. Hope you had a good workout. You had fun. Challenge yourself in new ways today. Again, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, I will see you tomorrow at 1130 if you would like for a no repeat hit workout. Otherwise, I will see you next time. All right. Have a great rest of your day and week. Until then, see you later.